Hey everybody, it is part two of library story time tonight. So here's the second book. Remember our author is Irv Tolle and it's called I Have an Idea. Are you seeing dots that are similar to our first story? Yup. I always love that moment when suddenly feel a puff of breath. Let me tell you, the wind today felt so good. If you were in the shade and you felt the breeze, it was a beautiful day to play outside. If you went in the sun, all of a sudden it was hot and sticky. Oh, look what happened to all those circles. They're making one giant circle around us. I have an idea. Ding, light bulb moment. It's a magnificent feeling. Do you guys feel good when you think of something fun to do or any idea? Hmm, but just what is an idea? Share with somebody at your house. What do you think an idea is? At first, you really aren't sure, but you start looking and looking. And looking, nothing. So you keep on looking. Why give up, right? Keep going, keep looking. Some more, it can get a bit boring. And then suddenly, oh, there it is an idea it's like that light bulb shining bright above people's heads in the comics cartoons it's new it's different there's nothing like it it's a little like finding a seed see how it's grown bigger and bigger and bigger which grows and grows and grows and what do you do once you found an idea? Often the ideas come rushing. They can be a bit merry and a bit bubbly. It's like once you think of one idea of what to play for the day, like this, then oh, let's play that when we're done, and then that, and then that, and then that. It's time to get to work. I'm gonna funnel all those ideas down, decide which one we should do, jot them down, organize them, try make mm, they made a mistake so they're gonna start again explore and then finally after all that work you're there oof a good idea and right away you know it's a it's good because in every good idea there's always a seed of madness <laughs> right so how do you find and cultivate those seeds? They're there. Everywhere in the world. But you won't always be able to see them. Sometimes things get in the way, right? You'll have to look closely. Be curious, look Listen, touch, taste, smell, learn. Because everything that you discover will find its way into your brain. And then one day, while you're still looking, some of the seeds will cluster together and then, oh, good thing, right? I have an idea. But why look for all those ideas? Maybe just for the fun of it? Maybe to change the world? Good idea. In any case, there's one thing I've learned. With looking comes finding. And so, if you look, you two, what are you going to find? That's up to you to decide. What is your idea? 